Hey, how's it going guys? Bob here. Interesting one today. My neighbor brought over this HP Pavilion 15 inch laptop. It's about eight years old. The complaint is after it runs for a couple minutes, it goes into thermal shutdown. When you reboot it, it comes up on the screen and says the system has been shut down uh, due to thermal, some thermal issue. So I took it apart. There was really no dust in here. I ran the diagnostics uh, in the HP BIOS and the fan was showing only running 24% of capacity, which, you know, the speed of it. So I thought, well, maybe something's wrong with, with that or whatever. I mean, I cleaned all that out. So I ordered a new fan, replaced that fan, which was, it was 12 bucks, not a problem. And at the same time, I pulled this whole heat pipe off in this heat sink and I cleaned it real good and put some, uh, Thermal, new thermal grease on there, put it all back together. And I tested it and it did the same thing. So I've worked on tens of thousands of desktop computers and laptops only in the last 10 years, let's say, here and there. So I've never really run into this before, but as I'm doing some further troubleshooting about two or three minutes in, I mean, the heat, the heat sink and the thermal grease has to be working great because this thing is is so hot you can't touch it. I mean, it's got to be the the diagnostics. I ran a utility on it. It's running like 99 Celsius, almost 100 Celsius, and then it shuts down. But it's usually 97 to 99 Celsius, so it's super super hot. The fan's running, and I'm putting my hand here, and the air is cold coming out of here, and I didn't understand. And I I and I'm touching it, you know, and I'm like, wow, this is all cold over here. And when you get right about here it starts getting hot. And then from this point over to the CPU, it's super hot. So super hot, super hot, warmish, cold. So I looked it up online. And again, you know, I've never really dealt with anything or thought these heat pipes went bad. I figured they're just a piece of copper. And people had talked about, uh, well, there's some type of liquid in there and it can crack and leak out and it doesn't create the vapor. And you can go look it up yourself how it works. But here's what I'm thinking got a replacement. So this was a used one. It was pulled out of somebody else's machine. It's the exact same part number. You, I couldn't find this brand new online. I mean, they're, they're out of stock. They're going everywhere. So I'm going to pull this, clean it, reseat the thermal grease, put it back in and see what happens. And real quick, after I've cleaned it, cleaned off all of the uh, thermal grease, here it was on there. Now we got a nice clean surface. I'm gonna apply some thermal grease, little dot of it, put it back together. Okay, the new heat sink is in with the new thermal grease and the new heat pipe, everything's installed. Look at this, unbelievable. I ran this thing for 20 minutes on and off the other night and every time I did it, CPU zero down there, was 97 to 99 and then it would shut down 46 wow i'm gonna let it run a little bit and i'm gonna feel the uh, heat pipe back there the fan before no matter which fan i had in it just ran at high speed constantly it's not even i mean it's running because it's on it's set to run all the time but you i can't even hear it it's hardly even throttling so I'm gonna throw something at it here um, and see what happens with this CPU temperature. So I'm running heavy load up here. Uh, it's supposed to be pegging the CPU at 100%. It's been here for like a couple minutes, two minutes. And what do we got, 65? It was up to 75 Celsius before. The fan is running and the air coming out of it is warm, which that was never happening before. So I think we got it fixed. Yeah, so now I can actually touch this and it's not very warm here on the black, but this here just gets increasingly hotter to here but I can actually put my fingers on it and keep them there. There's no way I could do that before, um, right after it was running. It was so hot, I touched it and it just 
really was too much. So hopefully this will fix it. And if you have an HP Pavilion, I mean, you know, the other thing is this case, if I put the back case on, it's probably made to uh, channel some of the air through there a little better than having it exposed like this, so it should only get better. But uh, I understand this thermal issues are a problem for these HP laptops in general, and especially these pavilions of that range. So look into it. I mean, it, that, that'd be the things you would check. Is the fan clogged up with, with stuff? Take it out. There's two screws to take the fan out. That's no problem. Cost, uh, I think, uh, $12. And then this is going to be the hard part if you need one of these. There's a, there's a number on here specific to your model, but um, I had to get a used one here off a different machine that was the same part number because they may not make them anymore. But I'll, I'll bet that's what it is. And that was real interesting. I never knew a heat sink or a heat pipe, as I call it in this case, could go bad. And here we go. Everything's put back together. And it's running some Windows updates and running a scan here. And we're at 62 on the CPU. So I think we'll consider this fixed. So I hope this has been informative and helpful to somebody out there. And as usual, thanks for watching.